Welcome to week five. This is Angela again, your professor for project time management. One of the things you are to learn about this week in week five is about uh, using legs in your projects and different types of relationships such as finish to start, finish to finish, start to start, start to finish. So I wanted to make this video to show you how you could possibly use those different types of relationships and different legs in your deck project. So I have up here on my screen um, somebody's deck project. Now this is somebody, so I'm not saying this is perfect and this is how your deck project should look like, but I'm just using this as an example. So one of the types of relationships and the default relationship that Microsoft Project uses is finish to start. So once I've got my, I've finished getting my building permit, then I can start building my deck. So that's a finish to start relationship. And we sometimes will use legs um, because there's a time period in there where we're waiting for things or things have to happen. So one place we can use a finish to start relationship and a finish to start lag in is when we get our, our building permit. So it probably only takes a couple of hours, half a day, to fill out the paperwork to get the building permit, um, but then a week to wait for it. So that's why we have five days in there. So instead of putting five days, we could maybe put half a day to represent the time to do the paperwork and then put a lag instead. Now it's important that um, we put the lag with the successor. So um, this is activity four and we have that we can't start creating our deck layout um, until um, we have our deck uh, layout. So let's go to that activity and as you can see it has a predecessor as getting a building permit. We have it as a finish to start activity. So let's put a five day lag in here to represent the time that we will wait to get our building permit. So then you can see um, we have the lag. There is our um, building permit and then there's a five day lag to wait before we can start laying out our deck. So that's one place we could use uh, finish to start lags. Another place is um, once we've poured the concrete we have to uh, wait for it to cure before we can do anything on it. So um, we'll mix the concrete and the uh, success, succeeding activity is setting the posts on the concrete footing. So um, we should have to wait, um, it's usually a day or two, um, for the concrete to cure. So let's put um, a one day leg here. So we can't set the post on the concrete until the concrete has cured. So we have a finish to start relationship with a one day wait. So it's again really important that you put the lag um, with the succeeding the successor activity. So that's one type of uh, relationship and lag. The other type of relationship that we talked about this week is our finish to finish and start to start lags. Um, so one place that uh, we could use it is I have an activity or the person's project has a supervision activity here. And we can use um, start to start and finish to finish uh, relationships here. So supervision activity will start once our first activity has happened. So I'm going to put, right now our project is about 16.56 um, days, so I'm going to put 16 days as my uh, duration for this activity. So it's the duration of the entire project. And um, so let's click on this. And the supervision activity will probably start once the actual project has started. So our first activities um, uh, we have as contacting the local building department. So I can put that. And again, I'm going to have this as a start to start. Um, relationship. So once that activity started, the supervisor can start supervising. And I'm going to maybe put a half a day lag here um, because, you know, we'll let them do some work before we start checking up on them. So it's a start to start uh, relationship. Now the supervisory activity will finish once the um, entire project is done. So our last activity is actually the final deck inspection. So let's put that um, so it will finish once we have a final deck inspection so final um, and again we want that as a finish to finish 
um, activity and we can have it, let's say, you know, once that's done, there may be some loose ends for the supervisor to tie up. So let's put one day leg that it will finish a day after um, that final deck inspection is done. Okay, so now we have used different types of relationships and legs, and I'm hoping for your deck project you can use these different types of relationships and legs in your project.